This next year, I'm not a big sled guy, but I do like the Crowther. Um, I think it really uh, is, a, is a great teaching aid for just ha learning how to roll the hips. This is just a progression. We're just working an arm roll into it. Uh, and, and, and utilizing the Crowther, you want to get the, uh, the, uh, the chin right over the, the corner edge of the pad, so you're slightly offset here. But now we're just working an arm roll. And again, the key to this is not to throw the shoulder in, but rather just to lift straight up, straight up with it. If you don't have a Crowther, you can use this against this another uh, person, actually. You can get two kids up there and do the same thing. These are just straight arm pulls, and this actually is probably the first part of the progression right here. What I don't want to see you do is roll the shoulder. Now we're just taking a, a, a two-step approach right here. Okay, The kids are offset with their chin over the outside edge of the corner of the, the pad, and we're going to step with the, uh, the uh, outside foot first and make contact on the second step. And teaching any kind of drive block, I, I firmly believe the contact should be made on the second step. This machine really helps us get that first step uh, going in the direction we want to go and then that second step down and we're hitting it with the arm roll. It forces these kids to, to keep their hips down low. We'll continue to add. We'll go out of a three-point stance and do the same progression.